Hello students. In this video, I am going to discuss about the basics of the applet. And please remember that in this, I am going to discuss only the important points about this applet, which will be helpful for writing in the end examination. So, I am discussing only important points which are useful for the end examination, right? So, first of all, I will discuss about the definition of the applet which is uh, important for two marks. You will see the definition now. Applets are small applications that are accessed on an internet server, transported over the internet, automatically installed and run as part of a web document. So what is the meaning of this? So first of all, here we can see a term called internet server. So yes take a server here take a server so initially our applets are stored on this server okay so this is our applet so applets are small applications something but they are also java programs and they are initially present on any internet server now assume that this is my computer right and now i want to run this applet my requirement is to run this applet so what i have to do so i will be having a link i will be having a link when i click on this when i click on this link this applet will be see here transported over the internet so this applet will be transported over the internet and it reaches my computer and it is going to be automatically installed on this computer and finally it is going to run as a part of a web document so the meaning of that is so this applet will come to your computer and it is going to run on any web browser right so web browsers like you know google chrome or internet explorer okay so these points are important so they are initially present on the internet server so whenever you want to execute them, when you click on any link, they will be transported over the internet from this server to your computer and automatically installed and run as a part of a web document. Okay. So this is the meaning of the definition. You can write this definition in your own words. And another important point about applets is there is no risk of viruses. There is no risk of virus or breaching data integrity. It is one of the advantage of the applets, right? Now this is a very simple, uh, simple applet program. So it is having one class, okay? So class simple applet. And in order to make this class as an applet, you have to extend the class called applet class, okay? So we are going to use this keyword extends in the context of inheritance, right? So this is a super class and your class will become the subclass. And this applet class was present in a package called java.applet package. So you have to import that package. And now in every applet, we are going to write this paint method. So you have to remember this public void paint of graphics G. And this paint method is taking one argument. What is the argument? Graphics object. Graphics object. Okay. So this graphics is a class which is present in package called java.awt package. Right. And inside this paint method, I am going to use a method called drawstring method. Okay. So what is the use of drawstring method? For example, if this is your applet, if this is your applet window and if you want to print any message here if you want to print any message or string here then you have to use this draw string method and observe here so this draw string method is actually present in a class called graphics class okay so how to call this method by using the object here what is the object g is the object so object dot method object dot method g dot drawstring 
Now this drawstring method will actually take three arguments. What are they? First one is what is the message you want to display, and this is x coordinate, and this is y coordinate. That means in this applet window, in this applet window, okay, x coordinate is twenty, and y coordinate is also twenty. So from this point, the message is going to be displayed, right? So if this question is asked for five marks, definitely we have to write this example program, and we have. some important points already we have seen about paint method so what is the use of paint method so it is going to be called each time that the applet must redisplay its output so whenever you want to redisplay the output you have to call the paint method and inside the paint method you have to write this drawstring method as we have discussed earlier what is the use of this drawstring method it is going to output a string and this is the general form of the drawstring method so for two marks there is a possibility of uh, asking you to write about drawstring method to give the syntax of the drawstring method so what is the syntax void drawstring and uh, three arguments first one is the message you want to print x coordinate and y coordinate and one more important point is notice that the applet does not have the main method so for applets no need of the main method and if it is asked for 10 marks you have to write this one also write about this one also so for every applet definitely you have to use applet tag so this is the applet tag beginning of the applet tag and end of the applet tag and you have to write this code and you have to save this uh, you have to write this code in a notepad and you have to save this in a html file okay so this applet tag uh, will have three important uh, fields first one is code next one is width and next one is height so what is this width and what is this height so whenever in the output so this is the width of the applet window that is 200 and this is the height of the applet window right and what is this code simple applet if you do remember so here the simple applet is this one only whatever the class we have written previously so you have to give this class as input to the applet tag so here i am giving the simple applet as input to this applet tag okay how to compile normal compilation java c simple applet dot java and how to run an applet there are actually two ways first way is by using a web browser you can run the applet and the second way is by using an applet viewer so what is the command to run the applet using applet viewer see here applet viewer run app dot html so previously i told you no you have to write a html file so that file you have to save with run app run app dot html so this applet code you have to save it in html file and save this by using a run app dot html okay and that one you have to write here run app dot html okay and finally you are going to get an output like this this is the applet window right so here x coordinate is 20 and y coordinate is 20 so from this point onwards i am displaying a message called a simple applet okay